Hey, what's up you guys? I'm sorry I haven't been able to make a video lately. I've been really busy with stuff. So today I'm going to talk about uh, Flippa listings. But before I start the video, I want to talk to everyone who's pre-ordered my course. I want to thank you so much for pre-ordering, and I'm really sorry about how long it's taken to get the course out. Um, I'm hoping to release it at the end of May, uh, so in about one month. Um, really sorry about how long it's taking. I know you want to start the course right away, but it's going to be filled with a lot of great content and uh, it'll be worth the wait. So thanks again for pre-ordering that. Anyways, let's start getting into the video. Let me check this. Okay. So a lot of you guys have been asking for more uh, reskinning specific videos. Uh, lately, I've kind of been posting some programming ones just to see what people want. And it seems like people think there's a lot of uh, programming stuff out there already and not much reskinning stuff. So I'll get back into the reskinning stuff, starting with um, how to create a listing. So this is one of my apps that is live right now. And instead of writing everything out in front of you guys, which kind of takes a while, I'm going to just show you one of my active listings um, summaries or uh, descriptions and um, I'm going to just go through how I write each one kind of the template that I use because I use a similar template for all of them and uh, what you need to include and how to convince someone to really purchase that app because I think it's probably one of the most important parts of reskinning an app uh, just under the icon and stuff is the listing because everyone has to read that before they bid um, so the first thing you start with is the title. Let me just check something. Okay. So I think the best way to do an auction on Flippa is to always have no reserve. What this means is there's no minimum payment that you're going to accept. So even if the only bid is a dollar, you're going to have to sell the app to them. A reserve makes it so you can say if it, you only have to sell the app if it gets over, say, like $100 or $150. So if the bid is below $150, then you're not going to have to sell it to them. But this kind of uh, makes people not like to bid as much because they know there's a chance they're not going to get the app. So I always go no reserve, so it attracts a lot more um, bidders. And then because of that, inside your header, you always want to say no reserve usually in caps, um, just to get the attention and so they know it's a no reserve auction right away. And then you have a short little description that kind of tells them what the app is and gets them excited at the same time. So mine is like a social recipe app and I mentioned there's big ad potential um, and show some money signs to show that you can make a lot of money with it. Uh, this, a lot of people take this strategy on Flippa because it kind of shows the potential of the app and gets people excited and they kind of want to click on it and take a look into it. Additionally, there's this little like subheader here. All right, make sure this isn't lagging out. So this is kind of an important piece. Um, I would say most people look at it when they're looking at the listing, but it's not as important as the header. So here I kind of just give a summary of what the app is so they know without having to go into the app. Um, so you can read this here, Recipe Slice is a modern twist on a recipe app. Users can easily post their own favorite recipes and search for recipes easily with keywords and food types. Be sure to check out the Buy It Now bonus. So I kind of just give an overview of the app. Don't go into too many features or anything. Just give them a feel for what the main purpose of the app is. It's kind of like a mini description of uh, what your description would be inside the app store. All of this is stuff that you fill out when you're actually making the listing. I'll do a video over that too eventually. Uh, so this is done beforehand. And then this is the main uh, description here. See it's pretty long. Um, you really want to include everything and be as detailed as possible. So um, it is longer than most people would expect, probably. So let's start with the beginning. I always have a nice bold header right at the top to kind of catch the person's attention 
and make them want to continue reading. Um, so like this one, I said limitless potential. Or sometimes I say something like, I'm crazy to be selling this app, or um, this app can make millions or thousands or whatever you want to say that kind of grabs somebody's attention. After that, I kind of give a little bit of a background of the app and also tell them why they should be buying the app. Um, so right here, I'm saying you might think recipe apps are basic, but this isn't just any old recipe app. So you kind of want to um, bring yourself apart from the competition there and tell them why they should bid on this app over other apps. And then I give a little description of the app to say why it's so good. And then I usually talk about how expensive it would be to custom develop the app. Since I am a freelancer and I've used freelancers before, I kind of know the prices um, for what apps go for. So I just say, oh, this would easily be 3000 or more dollars if you hired a freelancer to do it. And then at the very end, you always have to have a little call to action there. So I just say, don't miss out on this amazing opportunity to add a completely passive app to your portfolio. Passive and passive revenue is also another great word. People love to see that something will make the money without any work at all. So you want to include that in your description too. Um, if that is what it does, you don't want to lie about it, but, um, so that's always a good call to action there. And then I include some basic bullet points here. I always say reviewed and approved by Apple. That gives them some security. Uh, they know the app is legit and it's been approved. Uh, show them it's ready for the newest iOS version so they know it's a modern app. And then I kind of give some uh, information like the Firebase database. Um, it's completely autopilot, which is another great word to just show that they don't really have to do anything and they can make money from it. Talk about how the UI is done professionally and how much potential it has. <coughs> um, check on that. Okay. And then at the end, I say recipe slice is ready to compete with its great feature set. So I kind of just have another line right there to hype people up about the features before I display the features. So in the features, it's pretty basic. I just go through all the features that the app has internally and also stuff like the type of database that is used, um, the admin panel. Uh, so this is the easiest part. You should know your app. You just put down the features and everything. After that, there's a line at the bottom where I tell them don't just look at this feature list, download the app and try it out yourself. This is really more of a thing to protect yourself because I found after years of experience on Flippa, a lot of people just like to bid on the app even though they haven't downloaded it for some reason. And then sometimes they download the app after paying and get all angry that they thought something was in there and it wasn't. And it's a big problem with the PayPal disputes and stuff. So you just wanna have this here just in case they do try to file disputes. You can say, I told them to download it before they bid. So I always include a little link here to do that. Please do this, it'll save you from a lot of headache I've experienced in the past. Um, so the next thing is buy it now bonus. I usually don't have this, but it can be a good thing to try to encourage people to purchase it through the more expensive buy it now. Um, so usually I just give them like a little incentive, like I'll change the icon for you for free or change the interface a little bit for you or offer like another app or so anything you really want uh, just as a little incentive to purchase it through the more expensive way. Uh, typically people don't purchase through Buy It Now. I've had a few in my life, but um, it typically does not happen. Anyway, um, there, a lot of these are kind of Flippa's preset uh, description layout. They include the stuff like why are you selling, what is required, what is included. So you just fill that out. Like I just tell them what's in the sale, uh, what's required to keep it operational, nothing. And then why I'm selling it. Uh, this depends on uh, how you want to sell it to them. A lot of people make up stuff like they need money for surgery or uh, they want to create another business or some other thing. A lot of the time you can tell they're lying. For me right here, I just say like I have a company that creates templates and 
uh, lets people create an app without knowing how to code or hire a developer that's expensive. So you can do the honest route or you can try to make something up, which uh, actually does work sometimes. So it depends on what you want to do. Uh, okay, that's still working. Then after that, how does it generate revenue? You basically just say what the monetization options are. If there's like ads, in-app purchases, paid downloads, um, anything like that. And for me, a lot of the time, I don't include a built-in monetization method. method. Um, so I kind of tell them the potential and what they can do to monetize. So I say, the easiest thing to do is just put some ad mob ads in there and make money passively. But another thing you could look into is getting sponsorships with food companies, which will make even more money. So I kind of just tell them what the possibilities are and how hard it is to do it and kind of get them hyped to purchase this app and then monetize it themselves. Um, so that's usually my strategy. And then expenses. My app has no expenses, so I don't put any here. <clears throat> um, what marketing has been done. So if you've done marketing for the app before, put that there. I never market my apps, so I just leave that blank. And then how can the future owner improve the app? So this part's really important because this part will get the uh, potential buyer very hyped about the sale so they can know exactly what they need to do for it to succeed. So you just give them a lot of ideas that could help improve the app um, that you already know of. A lot of the stuff I say is like do Facebook ads, do Google ads, get like a good user base going. And then once you have a good user base, implement ads or implement sponsored ads or uh, sponsorships with companies, that type of stuff. Or um, what's it called? Success fees and listing fees for different apps. So you just put in a lot of different ideas there and tell them how much potential there is for this app. And all you really need is ads and um, That'll get them hyped and make them want to purchase the app. Finally, I include like a little section here just to tell them if you have questions, feel free to message me and always make sure to say your app is as is because a lot of people get that thing, that type of stuff confused and um, they try to force you to do some updates or something on the app and uh, that gets really annoying. And I include another link there so they can check out the app for themselves to remind them just one more time to check it out before they put a bid. Uh, please do this because it'll make your life a lot easier. And then my last few sentences are just a little call to action, a little um, another couple of lines to get people pumped about the app and make them feel like this is the right purchase for them. So I tell them this niche is evergreen. You don't have to worry about a trend dying. Uh, beginners and experts can take over this app and make passive revenue. Don't miss out on this opportunity. Bid right now. Happy bidding. So that kind of just gives them more reason to buy the app. And uh, yeah, that usually works for me. The rest are just a tad like the screenshots of the app. Um, so really, that's kind of how I usually make a listing. It's worked really well. I think the listing really does uh, make a difference. I've seen some pretty good looking apps on here go for nothing. Then I look at their listing and it's terrible. The English isn't good. It's short. They don't even capitalize a lot of the stuff and it just looks unprofessional. And then some of my apps are pretty simple. You put a nice description like this and it'll go for hundreds of dollars even though it's a simple app. Um, so I think it's a very important thing. So be sure to use these strategies. Basically, my main strategies are to hype up the customer a lot, include links to your app to prevent hassle down the line, and to just display all the features that there are and really give them a reason to purchase this app and show them why this app stands out um, over all the others that are on Flippa right now. Um, so that probably concludes this video. If you have any questions on this, just leave them in the comments. Um, really the description is probably one of the most important parts of selling a reskinned app. So be sure to get this part down, um, before you try to list any app and sell it. So thanks for watching this one, guys. I'll have a lot more videos on Flippa and like 
actually reskinning apps, not coding stuff. So um, hopefully at least one more video this week. All right, thanks for watching, guys.